Welcome back to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. My message today is coming from Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Father God, bless this message right now. Bless those that's hearing for the word of God to change their life, to come back to God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If Revelation chapter 2, verse 4 and 5 say, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou have left thy first love. Remember from whence thou art falling, and repent, and do thy first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and remove thy candlestick of the, his place, except thou repent. My subject is come back to your first love with God. How to come back to your first love with God. Now this is part two of the series of how to come back to your first love with God. Your first love is when you first got saved, you, you felt you were full of zealousness. You want to tell everybody about the great thing that God have done in your life. But over the years, you're drifted. And that's my next message I'm dealing with. You are drifted away. So how to come back to your first love with God? Number one, remember and why, remember and where, and why you have forsaken your first love. Remember. My friend, you got to remember. If you don't remember, you're going to keep on falling into the muck. You're going to keep on falling into eating your old vomit so you must remember now this is 10 r's how glory to god 10 r's what are the r's the r's is remember research reflex repeat repent resemble read knowing hey glory to god amen remission and also return and also the resurrection of life so the first one is remember from whence you have fallen from your first love. If you don't remember, you're going to fall right back into the situation. A lot of times you're going to remember the friends that persuade you to turn your back on God. That's number one. Number two, research what make you left your first love. Come on now. You can, you can, you can research. Research by going, by going the step that made you backslide from God. My friend, Jesus Christ told, hallelujah, us, remember Lot's wife. And we all know what happened to Watt's life. Watt's life, Watt's life, wife, looked back and turned into a pill of salt because she looked back at Sodom and Gomorrah. So we've got to research what make you left your first love. You know, and stop acting like you, you, do, you have amnesia of not remembering, not researching, and also reflect on how you got saved and stay saved. Reflect. Reflect means that you got to pray more. You got to study God's word more. You got to fast to crucify your flesh. If you don't crucify your flesh, which is fasting and praying and studying, not reading, studying, let me reflect on, on how you got saved and stay saved. It's not according to your works. It's according to the gift of God that God has given you. And we gotta we got to be able to, able to keep our gift that God has given us. And also repeat not to make the same mistake over in your past. Paul say, forgetting those things which are behind and reach for those things which are before I press to I press for the high call of God, which is Christ Jesus. Our Lord, so you must repeat not to make hallelujah, the same mistake in your past. Forget your past. Forget no past friends. If they're not saved, you pray for them, but you don't hang around them. And also repent. Repent means the glory to God. I mean, just Christ told them, except these repent, ye shall likewise perish. That pilot mingled the blood. And he say, yes, except you repent. Repent means to turn. 180 degrees. Repent don't mean you keep on asking God forgive and you keep on doing it. That's not repentance. That's playing with repentance. Repentance means to stop, turn, and don't go back. 
Amen. Now, next one is rem resemble Jesus Christ's step. So you won't step out of the will of God. Resemble means that everything that Jesus Christ have done, we are to look like Jesus. How you look like Jesus, Ma? You look like Jesus by, by letting people know that you have been around Jesus Christ. You are resembling Jesus Christ. And number seven, read, continue the word of God and study what you have read. Now, a lot of people watching this video, and the only thing you do is read the Bible. Read the Bible is not enough. You got to study to show yourself approved unto God. If when you study the word of God, the word of God gets into your heart. And the Bible say in Psalms 119 verse 11, the word of I hid in my heart that I want sin against God. Reading won't help you. You got to study line upon line, precept upon precept. Here's a little and there's a little. So how to come back to God, your first love with God, you must remember, you must research, you must reflect, repent, repeat, repent, resemble, read, which is studying, and glory to God. This one, the eighth one, is knowing that Jesus Christ has remission of your sin. Jesus Christ has canceled. Knowing that Jesus Christ has canceled your sin. He put it in the sea of forget forgetful never to rise. See the difference between God and God and people. People remember. But God will not remember your sin because he canceled it. There's no more spot or wrinkle. He have, he have canceled. Rem remission means we cancel your sins. Number nine, Lord, take a return to God with your whole heart, body, soul, and spirit. You can't you can't just remember. You can just 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 return to God with your with your spirit. You gotta be your whole thing. Cause the Bible said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy. God wants you to be holy. What sacrifice you have for God is your body. God don't want no money. God don't want no sheep. God don't want no pigeon. God wants your body. Because we are bought with a price. The Bible said, glorify God. Your your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. So if you want to return to God, my friend, you got to return with your whole heart, your body, your spirit, and your soul. And also, last one, my friend, and you will live that life of resurrection life. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. And I must, I must read this, my friend. I know it'll be long, but some of y'all don't read the Bible, so I want you to hear. The Bible says, faith come by hearing, hearing forth the word of God. When I say faith come by hearing, my friend, a lot of you all don't read. So let me let me read this so you can build your faith up by hearing the word of God. The Bible says, what shall we say then? Shall we, con shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein. Know he not that so many of us was baptized in the Jewish Christ were baptized into his death. I'm reading uh, uh, Romans 6 chapter verse 1 through, through, through 10 and continue. Therefore we are buried with him by the baptism into death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so shall we also walk in newness of life, a resurrection life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man crucified, mean died with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, hence for we should not serve sin. Now if now he that is dead is free from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also, also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death have no more dominion over him, for in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Now, this is the part that I want you to listen now as I go into verse number 11. Likewise, reckon ye also to be dead indeed unto sin, but live unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lest not therefore reign, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that he shall obey it in the lust thereof. Some of y'all, the reason why y'all backslide because lust become very nice to you. Verse 13, 
neither yield your members as instrument of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instrument of unrighteousness unto God. You hear that? Neither yield your members as instrument of unrighteousness unto sin. Verse 14. And my, that's my last one. For sin shall not have dominion over you. How can sin not have dominion over you? You gotta fast. Paul said, When I preach to other, I make myself a cast away. For he that for ye are not on the law, but under grace. But don't take advantage because you are under grace. Because in verse 1 say, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Verse 2, God forbid, how shall we live that our dead to sin live any longer therein? So a lot of people take advantage of grace. Hey, glory to God. Since we're not under law, you don't take advantage of grace. Because grace is, is a favor to an undeserving man. So I'm saying to you in closing, how to come back to God? You must remember. You must research. You must reflect. You must repeat, repent, resemble read and also remission of your sin return to god and and live the life of resurrection that's how you, that's how you go back to your first love with god i hope this message has helped you and if you have any more questions just email me at roma international 24 7 at gmail.com and i thank you for watching how to come back to god if you have backslid from god i'm give you a step I'm going to give you a nugget how to come back to God. Let me pray for you, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless this man, bless this woman. Oh God, the coronavirus has taken a, a great step, oh God. Since the church got closed, we got slack, Lord. Let him know that the church is you. God is coming for a body. He's not coming back for a building, but he's coming for a body with a spot or a wrinkle. Oh God, let him learn to pray. Let him learn to study. Let him learn to fast. Let him learn to keep on praying without ceasing. Bless this person that's reading, oh God, the word of God, and listen to the word of God. Bless them right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you, and I love you all. And please don't forget to subscribe to my video and give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching Life Journey. Glory to God with Theophilus Fernandez. God bless. Peace.